Okay, it's August 30th. I'm top feeding here, so I'll show you what I'm doing. Adding some pollen patties and some mite strips for mite treatment, varroa mite treatment. So I'll uh, give them an application of these strips and they say for two brood cycles, so 42 days, then you can remove them and then I'll treat again in the spring. So this is what I'm doing, I'm learning as I go here. Because my lids don't have holes in them, uh, I'll just add a, a box, I'll put an inner cover on top of the brood chamber, put a box, and then I'll add my top feeder. So, see if that works. Okay, so there's still lots of the pollen patty that I put in there last week, so we don't need to add another one. Uh, the mite strips in here. And then I'll put my inner cover on here. It's got a hole in it. Put that on there like that. And these are what I call, what you call top feeders. And it's got two to one sugar water. So tip them over like this. A little bit of syrup will come out initially. It'll create a vacuum in there. And the bees will just suck the syrup out of the bucket. I'll come back, check that. And put this box over like that. And then the lid. And we're all good. So I'll put this burlap away and check on them in a little bit. So we'll see how quick they suck this syrup down. It, uh, it'll be interesting, but uh, I think this is a little bit less invasive way of feeding. Um, if we have garbage weather, which we've had, at least they can still get fed for the winter and uh, fill up their box and brood chamber and stuff like that so um, this is my first time trying it so I think I'm gonna like it opposed to frame feeding. Frame feeding is a bit different where you have to put the frames inside the brood box. This way I just fill the buckets up, put the lid on them, install them just like I did and you're good to go. Okay, so you see the hole there from the top feeder. So the bees will go up there and they'll start sucking that syrup down. And uh, yeah, that's all they'll feed for the next month or two. <laughs> 